With that, let's jump into our charts for today. Uh, the first one you see, this is just the revised dashboard. This should be live um, in a few hours. Um, you, what you'll see there on the top left is uh, very significant or, or uh, similar to what you've seen throughout this, the doses received, doses administered, pending documentation. That's just we know we've given a shot. It's being uploaded into the system. And then the to be administered is just those that are scheduled uh, in, the, uh, in, in the next seven day time frame. And so you can see that that remains the same. Uh, what's a little bit different, you'll see there on the right hand side is the goal vaccinated. We know our goal for San Diego County uh, is 2,017,011. Uh, that's what we have to get to as a region to hit that 75% threshold, uh, which is what's been outlined to us that we should strive to, uh, to get to. And so what you'll see there in the two charts is the percentage of that goal uh, with at least one dose. Uh, and then on the other chart, you'll see the percentage of that goal who are fully vaccinated. So you'll see we are 60% of the way uh, towards the goal we're, we're, uh, we're striving for, which is 75% with first dose and 37.5% uh, of the way towards the goal uh, that we want to achieve on fully vaccinated. Uh, next chart, you'll see our cases, again, uh, holding relatively steady. You have days where it it you know blips up and down a little bit, but again, from the beginning, we've never said the day-to-day -day numbers. Uh, it's the trend line over time, and, and what you see with that purple line there, that's the 14-day rolling percentage of positive average. Uh, that is holding very steady and even descending uh, or declining uh, ever so slightly. We're now below 2% uh, on our percentage of positive at 1.9%, so uh, that remains very encouraging. Normal fluctuations in testing. Testing, of course, has gone down. Um, and that is not because it's not available to San Diegans are seeking the test less. Uh, but we will continue to ensure that the testing will be available, uh, widely accessible for anyone who, who would like to get a COVID test. Um, and again, our, our overall case numbers, you know, up slightly from last week, but again, uh, generally holding very, very steady and, and, and encouraging. And then the final chart here is just the um, reporting of our case rate. For those of you that track this routinely. You've been following this chart for many, 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 many months now. Uh, and you'll see our unadjusted case rate is reported out this week, 6.3. Our adjusted case rate is 6.0, um, up ever so slightly from last week, but, but not, not, not of any significance or not of any concern. Our testing positivity percentage, uh, roughly the same. Um, you will note that those two numbers on the bottom left there uh, are technically in the red tier, but just to remind you all that, that last week the state changed the guidance. Uh, there is no danger that we would backslide to red uh, simply based on a case count. And so we are comfortably in orange uh, where we expect to uh, remain until hopefully we see our cases descend more as more people get vaccinated, uh, hopefully into the yellow, and then with anticipation of that June 15th uh, retiring of the tiers. 